Hello everyone and welcome to the Full Stack Project YouTube channel. Today I'll be sharing you the exact steps that I followed to set up MongoDB with my Next.js project using Prisma Client. And also we'll host it into the Vercel. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, you have to initialize your Next.js project. After that, we have to install Prisma as a dev dependency. You can do it by using npm install prisma save dev. After that, what I did was I need to initialize the prisma ORM. So to do that, after running npm install prisma, you have to run npx prisma init. So this will create our initialize schema. So in here, you it will create a folder called prisma and inside the Prisma folder, you can have this schema.prisma. After that, so you have to edit this uh, data source DB. You have to change the provider to MongoDB. And also after that, I added this database URL on my ENV. So let's see how you can get this database URL. You can get your MongoDB connection URL from your Atlas cloud so I have created a project in MongoDB Atlas and here I have the MongoDB connection string so you have created a cluster here and you have to create a database and also few collections so I'm going to create a database and few collections uh, using MongoDB compass and also uh, make sure to replace this section with your password to your uh, MongoDB uh, user. Here I have my uh, MongoDB compass where I have connected to my cluster and you can see I have created a database called blog and also I have two collection called post and user. So you can create a new database uh, by clicking on here and you can give a collection name and also Inside the user, I have created a single user here and also I have created a, uh, another post as well. The thing is, in this post, you can see I have added a user ID. So this is the user ID uh, that I got after creating this user. So this user ID in here exactly match with the user ID I added on here. So whenever you are adding a data, uh, just to try it out so you can click insert document and here when you add a post record I am following this uh, structure to add a post record so whenever you give a user ID you have to add this OID so this is the object ID this should be an object ID so uh, this is how you can add a new post for your collection here so I will insert this one so you have two posts in here. After that, you have to add uh, your connection string to env file. So don't forget to replace your password and also don't forget to add your database name here after mongodb.net uh, slash. So after adding your .env file, we can generate our schema uh, which is matching to our created database. So we can create this section. We have to run npx prisma db pull. So after running this code, code it, your schema dot, uh, prisma schema will be automatically updated to match the two uh, post and user collections we created. So you can see it has automatically updated with ID uh, and the object IDs we set. So you have to run this npx prisma db pull to uh, get this uh, schema updated and if for any reason if your database url couldn't be resolved uh, maybe you have to change the env.local to the .env file and you can ignore it, the .env file from your uh, git igno and also i updated this schema to match this relation. So I have updated this relation where this post have an user ID. So I have to add this line here 
and this line here to create that relationship in the schema after after successfully updating your schema we have to install our prisma client you can run this command to install prisma client using npm so this will generate a schema uh, this will generate a prisma client which reflects with your schema so if you however updated your uh, model let's see we added another few fields for post or few fields for user or separate models then we have to reinitiate this uh, prisma client we can use npx prisma generate in order to uh, accommodate the changes that we do to the prisma uh, schemas after that step all the integration part related to prisma and mongodb is complete and we can use our prisma client to to do our database queries so here i have used in my get users and route.ts i have used find many query to get all the uh, user data and also i have followed one best practices which is given by the prisma documentation is in this utils you can see i have created a prisma client singleton method where the prisma client is created only at once uh, in the project so it won't be recreated on each database request or in each query so i have uh, created this connect.ts and i have imported the prisma client from the connect.ts file and use it inside the project i will share the url for this file here and also i will share the code base as well before hosting the project to versal don't forget forget to add this post install script in your package.json so it will avoid the common uh, common issues that we get when deploying the uh, prisma client to versal so i have deployed the project to versal and the project works fine so here's the deployed version and if we go to let's see api get users you can see it returns our users so it's all hosted and this is how you can integrate your mongodb to your next.js project using prisma client and host it on versal so if you like this kind of videos make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and drop a thumbs up to this video see you guys and have a nice day